Hello everybody, welcome to this update here. I'm not actually doing a live as a live, but it's live but not live, if you know what I'm saying here. But the main subject of the day is uh, what is the best spoons. Well, I'm actually stood inside it, actually sat inside it, and uh, my name's Lovely Coffee, Lovely Coffee, and uh, of course um, I've had a pretty much good day, so I'm actually going to tell you my favourite spoons of East Anglia, as I've had a good day. Well, so far, so good. But anyway, um, never mind all that. But, uh, of course, um, I'll be here at least for five or so minutes. Probably more by the time I tell you this. But this is the kind of like daily update here that you won't expect to see anywhere else. So it's a, an exclusive way to, of course, catch up here uh, using a jar of vinegar, if you like. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, apparently I've been spotted upstairs here. I'm on table number 100 here. And this is the view that I get from this particular spoon here, just up here, because I'm not really supposed to show it, because I want to save it for a video, actually. So this is the view I get from upstairs here. And, uh, of course, it's still light at the moment there, as you can see by the windows. But, of course, normally over there is where the Monday quiz is. And normally you hear music. Of course, uh, if I was to do it whilst there's music on, we probably might get demonetized. So, of course, massive hello to anyone watching right now. Yeah, of course, I host a lot of shows, and of course, I'm doing mainly update kind of shows rather than, of course, scheduled shows, which is what the main plan of this kind of system. So, of course. Um, going to continue on doing what I love doing of course um, hosting shows and things like that and uh, I'll tell you about my other part of the day as part of the spoons but of course let's hope this place that uh, has been very inspiring to me because I visited for the first time my place that of course I have been before without saying too much at this moment of time so welcome to, of course, a show that 100% never ends. Not on this channel anyway. We just keep going and never give up. Welcome to the show that never gives up. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, that's another thing altogether. Uh, what I would say, ladies and gentlemen, is that my favourite spoon has got to be this one here because it's the most favourable spoon, especially as a city, you know, for me. Um, I will give it a mark out of 10 when I do a video of it uh, at a later stage because I like to do short little videos for the channel and I think it's a great way to encourage people to go and visit these rooms as well and it's good sort of advertising free kind of like a free advertising kind of thing uh, with this spoon of course they've taken away uh, the load of cups which of course were on the side of each coffee machine but that is a little bit of a disappointment because you can't grab your coffee when you want to you know you have to get it by the bar nowadays i think they only done it for covid reasons but anyway the other scenario scenario is that it is a great pub i do hope it does come back to the disco format like it did back in the day as everything else is sort of coming back to normal uh, to start despite the two years of um you know shutdown but yeah uh, let's move on from that and of course um you know I just wanted to say my favourite spoons, as in weather spoons, of East Anglia. Uh, there are many other spoons other than East Anglia ones, but I'm just focusing primarily on East Anglia at the moment. There are some spoons that I've not been to in East Anglia, like Fakenham and Wisbeak, and I don't think I've been to any of those at this moment in time. I've been to Beckles, Lowestoft, Goulston, Trollcart, uh, the Goulston is the William Adams, by the way. This is the Regal, by the way, uh, just in case you haven't noticed already. There's an upstairs, and uh, of course, at the moment they aren't taking orders at the bar during the day, but probably at a certain time it goes to app only. But on this uh, scenario, I did use the app. So, what else can I say? Uh, Lowest off is, the, um, is it the Jasper Conrad, I think it is. Um, obviously the Sudbury is Grover and Allen uh, the 
Picture House in Colchester, Clapton and Moon and Starfish. These are all ones I've been to. Obviously one in Hatfield, the Hopsfield, Hopsfield Hall. It's very difficult to say very fast, isn't it? Hops, Hopsfield Hall. Yeah, that's in Hatfield, but that's not in East Anglia. But of course, uh, the Drabbit's Lock in Haverhill. Uh, Burst and Evans, the Corn Exchange, Deerham, of course. Um, I think it's the Robert something. Um, but the one in Kings Lynn, which I believe is the Globe Hotel there. Um, is there any more? I don't think there's one in Jaywick. Uh, Braintree at, at the... Uh, see with the picture house or, or, or something else. Yeah. I know it's definitely one in Braintree that I've been to. Um, I just forget the names of them half the time. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I've been to so many... It's just unbelievable. Also, one in Royston, which is uh, oh, uh, the Manor House. Uh, so, yeah, if there's any Wetherspoons that you've been to in East Anglia or that I've forgotten about, do let me know. Yeah, the Playhouse, that's it. Um, in, of course, um, one of them is the Playhouse and one's the picture house I think the playhouse in, in Colchester and the picture house is in Braintree or the other way around I'm not quite sure but yeah um, <laughs> Huntstanton as well um, not Huntstanton sorry um, Huntingdon um, which is the Sanford House Hotel it's a marvellous place to go and uh, yeah that pretty much sums it all up for now but of course let us know in the comments your favourite spoons as in weather spoons that you have actually been to it'd be nice to hear from you lot out there because i'm very much a huge fan of spoons i could talk about it every day if you really want me to but of course there's other things to discuss other than spoons but of course i can keep you updated in terms of what is the latest in spoons but of course that would have to be on a daily basis but of course it would be interesting to do it all the time because I do want to talk about other subjects as well so yeah on another note um, yeah pretty much a good day um, so yeah this sort of cafe kind of thing I would say is uh, something I might return to and it's a recovery source definitely worth checking out and I would personally say to go and visit the place it's called the Edge Cafe and I've met some really good people there and uh, it was just like a dream come true to come back to that cafe again but you know I missed the staff and it would be nice to get a feel of the old staff that used to work there but of course I don't think the whole of the staff are going to come back but of course we might get just the odd few that might remember us um, visiting the place but definitely worth checking out it's at the end of Mill Road and I do think it should turn into a chain like a spoons so that sort of thing is definitely needed we don't have that sort of thing in Havel and Suffolk we don't have that sort of thing in Sudbury either so there's a few towns that miss out on these kind of things so it's great to have a a chain of these kind of things uh, especially for the edge I do hope that they might think and take up on that idea one day so yeah I'd be willing to chat with them again and uh, there you go um, now i am moved away from talking about spoons to talking about the edge and uh, of course it makes me feel a little bit edgy actually <laughs> very excited in terms of edgy actually but I'm uh, not really edgy it's just a joke but no honestly on, honestly sorry uh, but very wisely thank you so much for watching this and uh, do let us do let us know in the comments uh, what you feel is your favourite spoon we're looking for your favourite spoons do comment down below the more people comment the better help support the channel that kind of thing and if you do want to support the channel you know the way to do it and of course it's on the about section if you need to know more information 
but there is a tourist not tourist what am I talking about of course touring with us team at gmail.com if you want to email directly to the actual organisation and ask us any more questions about us and we'll tell you what you need to know thanks for watching for now and uh, yeah keep it here right on the one of touring with us stay with them when you're on